So you say the ground is quite wet? It looks quite soft when we were pulling the RV and John's aeroplane around. It did feel very, very yeah. braggy. As we've got no wind. Yeah. I've not got a lot of fuel in the back, but I got 40 in the front, I think. I reckon we'll be off at the brow. That's my prediction. Okay. Yeah. I'll settle for that. My name is Tim Palmer. I fly a Jodel DR1050 out of this farm strip in East Anglia. Mailing traffic over for Yankee Echo Hotel is rolling. Mailing traffic. Oh, brow of the hill. Yep. As you said. Oh, it's a little bit lively. It is a little, yeah. And what we need to be aware of is immediately oh, how much the water there is. Look at the floods over there. Yeah. And down here. So this is all flood water. That is bad, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I'm not actually producing much video content at the moment because of the work we're doing on the house. Yeah. But this will definitely be one at quite some severe. stage because this yeah. is Storm Babette um, and the aftermath of all the rain that we've had. We've actually got a beautiful day today, but they're saying that we've got more rain coming during the week but I'll just continue following the line of the store down so that we can just see what the flooding is looking like. But yeah, the housework means that, well, the building work means that I'm not getting a lot of chance to do the editing. I like the editing, but it does take up quite a bit of time. But it was rather nice that before we took off today, John and Alex did the test flight in his new machine. So the Zenair CH601HD tail dragger um, has now been permitted and it's just a matter of waiting for the paperwork to come through. That sound good. Good. You had to climb over this side yeah. to put I'll this let, one down. Alright, I'll let you get out first. How do you feel about that then, John? I don't know. She sounded very nice.
Yeah, but you ain't got no champagne with you. Afraid not. We haven't even got any milk, yeah, but. Right. Uh, How many videos are you going to feature on now? You ought to start charging royalties. <laughs> Although, having said that, there was a slight hiccup because the ASI didn't read properly. So they've got to get that sorted before Alex could just complete the, uh, the test program. But generally speaking, they were very happy with it, weren't they? They were. It sounded lovely. It did sound very nice. And as John was saying, he's going to have to get used to uh, a different approach attitude because he's had enough problems with this, hasn't he, by comparing it to the uh, to the RV. But the approach of that Zen Air and the RV are very different. Yeah. He did a pretty good landing. Yeah, he did. Bearing in mind he's, by his own admission, rather rusty. Where did you get your fuel from? Well, this is, I'm still using the old stuff. Right, okay. I will need to fly somewhere, but because of the amount of rain that we've had, a lot of places are uh, a little bit waterlogged. Right. Earl's Cone have got their new piece of tarmac, haven't they? They have indeed. But that is very, very narrow. I think it's only 10 metres wide, isn't it? I, I don't know, it's not a particularly wide runway. Yeah. I should know, seeing that's where I learned to fly. <laughs> Once you get to here, it looks like it's okay yeah. in terms of you know the amount of water. Well, the tide's very low there. And yeah. So you say that Chris has got your prop. I, go, I took it over to Chris. Yeah. Um, the leading edge was starting to separate a little, so he's going to take that off and redo it. Yeah. Give it a refurb. Would you like to take control? Yep, or sure. are you? Last time I asked you, you said you were happy I'm sitting looking out of the window. I am quite happy sometimes. But if you'd like to have a flight. Okay. Okay. And you know where the trimmer is. I'll keep my leg down to keep it out of the way. Actually, I'm going to put the fuel pump back on and run some off the rear tank. If I've got a choice, I'd rather run the rear down because, yeah. of course, you have to take off and land on the front. So, if I'm down on, on fuel in the back, it doesn't matter quite so much. So, I wonder whether we're going to get the rain that they have promised us this week. I don't know, we've had some of it, haven't we? Yeah, it says that we're going to have rain Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. But the percentage for the rainfall Monday and Tuesday isn't too high. Okay. So, with a bit of luck, that means that we'll be alright. But I will go in fairly close to the village in order to have a look at this flooding again. I mean, people in the village must get quite worried yeah. if, if they are fairly close to water level. I'd have thought so. No, I'm really pleased for John. Yeah, yeah, he looked really pleased yeah. with that, didn't he? Best flying, he did flying, so... Yeah, pleased that the machine is flying well. And pleased that he feels happy with his flying. Yep. Which is good. There's only half a football pitch. Yeah. The rest is water polo. Raise the amount of flooding. I wonder the yeah. damage it must do. I suppose if I fly a very wide, long circuit, yeah. we'll also pick up the flooding the other side of it. Yeah. The runway seemed remarkably dry, considering the amount of rain we had. Yeah. Normally it floods at the top, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, we, it used to be, we used to have that really low bit, didn't we? Yeah. Mainland traffic, Golf of the Yankee Echo Hotel is in the overhead, Mainland traffic. Hey, we're all not a problem. <laughs> yeah. Just below the horizon. Leave a Sudbury mast there, look. Yeah. Yeah, the viz is good, isn't it? Look at the flooding out here. Yeah, that's why that's why I'm running this way quite a bit. There wasn't anybody else flying into Nayland. Only half an hour before curfew. Basically, the flooding goes past viewers and all the way up there to Sudbury. Yeah. 
I don't know if that camera is going to pick that up here now. I'll tell you what, there's a house down there. Looks like it's right, not underwater, but it looks like the water's to it. Very close. It's gardens underwater, but I think it's okay. So you can see our two reservoirs, apart from all the other newly yeah. formed reservoirs. Quite lucky because, as you say, we didn't actually have much water logging, did we? Not at all, no. I was expecting it. I walked in yesterday with Rob when it was still, you know, when it was still raining, expecting to see some flooding up the top. Yeah. And there was nothing. I know it's a bit unusual, but it's the high time at sort of thing. Well and truly in the White Ark. Approach. Can't see anybody else. Go Charlie Sierra. Uh, go Charlie Sierra. He's a beam you one mile to your starboard side. Uh, I mean, we'll now continue on my onward routing. Uh, same landing. Uh, copy that. I'll be changing shortly to frequency uh, to Rochester. Uh, good to see you. Many thanks. Mainland traffic, go for the Yankee Echo Hotel final, mainland traffic. Two miles to run, going overhead to 28. I didn't hear that person. When I started Good afternoon, Tim. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon at uh, the Nailer Traffic.